Hi everybody, I'm Jira Kwon from Taito Pass Restaurant. I'm going to show you how to make Penang curry. We have lots of ingredients in the ancient time. We have hot peppers and large peppers. And I seed it out and I soak it in water. It's gonna be like this. We have shrimp paste, which is the strong smell, but tastes so good. This is shrimp paste from Thailand, of course. Shallot. I peel it and cut it into this. Garlic, cut it, peel, and go like this. Kalanka is like this. The fresh one and cut like this. This is cafe lime fruit. And I'm gonna peel it and cut it like this. So easy to grind. This is lemongrass, like I showed before. Cut this part to repent it, use this part and slice it like that. And use the top part for the drink. And next thing, this is turmeric. And we use it with pepper, which can help combine of the health benefit a lot. And then after I peel it, it go like this. And grounded pepper, it will be like this. These are this is coriander seeds. I'm um, dry, roasted, and ground. It's complete. It can be like this. And this is cumin seeds, dry, roasted, and ground. It can be like this. I this think. is very important for Penang curry, which is different from other curry. We need the kefir, lime leaves, julienne. It it's gonna be like this. And this Thai basil. And this is a red bell pepper just for garnishing and smells good too. I'm going to make the paste. This is red pepper, red chili, the large and small that I saw before. And other all other ingredients that I cut and ground, everything goes in there. In the blender. Turmeric and pepper. Garlic, galanko, lemongrass, kefir lime rind, and this is different than others that I'm gonna put peanuts on it. A little bit of shrimp paste, and then half cup of water to easier blend. I just add uh, ground, dry roasted, cured okay. coriander seeds and ground dry roasted cumin seeds. This is important for the Penang curry to make it smell good. And the paste is ready and just take a look. It finely chopped like that. And the color is so good and smells so good too. Now I'm going to start making Penang curry. Well, I start with the Penang curry paste that we make and then add a little bit of oil, vegetable oil and turn it on the heat. The high heat and let it stir. I use this because it takes less time than making the uh, coconut coconut milk to, to bring to an oil. So this is easier, faster. It smells so good. And the next thing I add meat. This is pork. I add pork. And heat is cooking. Maybe it's too dry, you can add a little bit of water. Not much to help it cook. I use fresh cut pork. I didn't marinate anything. Just put in there and keep cooking. And then I add coconut milk. And I leave a little bit 
left, so I'll be garnishing with the coconut milk. See how pretty it is? And then I will add salt and then sugar. Almost done. I'm going to add ground peanuts to make it thick. In my mother generation, they make it without peanuts because they slow cook the meat until it's thick and dry and then they add and they just add peanuts. This is important for Penang curry to add julienne lime leaves that we showed before. And this is almost done. You put red bell pepper and basil, high basil. And we need to put it under the curry because otherwise if you leave it on the top it's going to turn dark now we are ready to serve i'm going to put ready to serve plate the texture could be a thicker than red curry not too much water it's gonna it's supposed to be like this and then we now we're gonna top it with the rest of coconut milk that I saved before so it looks so delicious